Remember when everyone thought lithium was the salvation of electric cars? Well, that reign is numbered. After years of dominating the battery landscape, lithium is being quietly replaced by a competitor that, until recently, no one took seriously. Aluminum. And the one who decided to take this bold step was none other than Tesla. After nearly seven years of secret research, the company put its first aluminum ion battery into commercial production. And the curious thing is that it didn't come with fanfare. It came with efficiency. The promise isn't just of something new, but of something that seems to have come straight from a laboratory of the future. What draws attention right away is the chemical performance of this battery. While lithium carries a single positive ion by atom, aluminum carries three. This, in a simple language, means that each aluminum particle carries three times more electricity than lithium. It's not little. This structural difference gives aluminum a much larger energy density, which makes room for more autonomy cars, let alone weight. And not to mention the detail that has been enchanting the engineers, the total absence of dendrites. Those crystals that cause short fires and explosions simply do not appear in these new batteries. This point about dendrites is more serious than it seems. In lithium batteries, they form naturally over time and eventually pierce the battery cell's internal barrier. This causes short circuits and, in many cases, fires. Aluminum, with its different electrochemical structure, doesn't suffer from this problem. The consequence is much greater thermal stability. To give you an idea, this battery operates normally from 40 taxinsturit to 85 bravers. Lithium batteries, on the other hand, collapse at sub-zero temperatures and become a ticking time bomb in extreme heat. Safety, in this case, isn't just an advantage. It's practically a revolution. And there's more. In addition to superior chemistry, this battery is also fireproof, literally. Aluminum is naturally non-flammable and non-toxic, which eliminates one of the biggest concerns the electric industry still faces, the risk of explosions. Unlike lithium, which requires special protocols, containment structures, and even firefighters specialized in battery fires, aluminum simplifies everything. This opens up a whole new range of applications, from emergency vehicles to school fleets. Because, let's face it, no one wants to drive or put their kids in a car with a risk of spontaneous combustion, right? Another detail that changes the game is the ability to deal with heat. Lithium, as you know, needs complex, expensive, and heavy cooling systems so as not to melt or catch fire. Already, the aluminum battery practically ignores these concerns. It dissipates heat much more efficiently and can maintain its performance even in situations of intense use, such as long climbs, sudden accelerations, or hot days. This means that the car won't let you down when you need it most, something every EV driver values, even if he doesn't always talk about it. It's as if Tesla skipped an entire generation of technology. Instead of continuing to improve lithium, it went straight to a solution that eliminates the biggest problems from the root. No dendrites, no fire, no explosion, with much more energy and absurd thermal stability. The feeling is that the company didn't just develop a better battery, it turned the whole table. And when we look at where the world is going, with growing demand for electric cars, environmental restrictions, and ever-increasing safety requirements, this technological leap could be the turning point no one expected. But everyone will have to chase it. As the aluminum revolution begins to take shape, there's one point that often goes unnoticed, but changes everything, the availability of the raw material. Lithium, despite being found in almost every cell phone and electric car on the planet, is a limited, expensive resource and concentrated in a few places. Chile, Australia, Argentina, and China dominate almost all global production. This creates a dangerous bottleneck. If one of these countries restricts exports, or if there's political instability, the entire electric vehicle market feels the impact. As for aluminum, well, aluminum is practically everywhere. It's the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust. The difference is stark, 
And it's not just a matter of volume, it's also about accessibility. Aluminum comes from bauxite, a mineral found in dozens of countries on every continent. This takes bargaining power out of the hands of a few and distributes the supply chain globally. In practice, this means that factories will no longer depend on fragile trade routes or disguised monopolies. Supply becomes more stable, more competitive, and of course, much cheaper. And when the basis of everything becomes more accessible, the entire ecosystem around it transforms, from the final price of a car to investment in infrastructure. This transition also addresses one of the most sensitive issues when it comes to lithium extraction, environmental impact. Lithium mining requires millions of liters of water for every ton extracted. In arid regions like Chile's Atacama, this means drying up natural reserves, harming entire communities, and disrupting fragile ecosystems. Aluminum, while also requiring energy to extract, consumes about 20 times less water. And, as if that weren't enough, it doesn't require cobalt. Yes, that heavy metal extracted under inhumane conditions in various parts of Africa, often with the use of child labor. This part is heavy, but it needs to be said, the lithium production chain is deeply linked to ethical issues that are difficult to ignore. Large companies have been pressured by NGOs, governments, and consumers to ensure that their products are not associated with human rights violations. Aluminum not only escapes these traps, but allows for easier traceability, as it comes from more supervised and distributed productive chains. This puts Tesla, and any other automaker who follows the same path, in a morally more solid position, something increasingly valued by conscious consumers. Another relevant point is that the infrastructure for working with aluminum already exists, and on a large scale. Industries around the world have been handling this material for decades, meaning there won't be any need to reinvent the wheel to process it into batteries. Lithium, on the other hand, still requires specialized refineries, purification technology, and complex systems to maintain component quality. And this, of course, comes at a high cost. With aluminum, much of the infrastructure is already in place, which accelerates adoption and drastically reduces the time between research and mass production. This combination of factors, abundance, lower environmental impact, absence of controversial components, and existing infrastructure makes the aluminum battery more than a technical innovation. It becomes a pragmatic response to a series of economic, political, and ecological problems that have plagued the electric vehicle industry for years. And most interestingly, this shift comes at a time when the world is beginning to demand more genuinely sustainable solutions, not just green promises in advertising campaigns. Now that the foundation has been established, with more stable chemistry, abundant raw materials, and a production chain ready to scale. What really captures the attention of those following this shift is performance. And here, aluminum doesn't disappoint. Batteries tested by Tesla have demonstrated a lifespan of up to 50,000 charging cycles. Translating, there are more than 70 years of daily use without significant loss of efficiency. For those accustomed to lithium batteries that begin to degrade in less than five years, this sounds like science fiction. But the numbers are real, and they're already in commercial use. Range also takes a leap that seems out of this world. The combination of high energy density and thermal stability allows a car like the Model 2, for example, to reach more than 300 tetonalipiens tut on a single charge. This represents almost 10 times more than what popular electric vehicles deliver today. It's like crossing Brazil from one end to the other without stopping to recharge. And the most impressive thing is that this doesn't come with penalties in weight, volume, or additional risks. On the contrary, the system is lighter, more compact, and operates with much greater safety margins. But perhaps the point that most shocks the average consumer is the recharge time. While lithium batteries need about 45 to 60 minutes to reach 80% charge, at fast charging stations with thermal management, the aluminum battery takes 100% charge 
in just 10 minutes. This completely changes the relationship between driver and car. You no longer need to plan your entire trip around charging stations. You can take a quick coffee break and get back on the road with a full battery. And best of all, no overheating, no accelerated degradation, no need for monstrous cooling systems. This charging speed is only possible because the aluminum ions move up to three times faster in the electrolyte than lithium ions. Furthermore, because the heat generated is much lower, the system doesn't need to limit the electric current during the process. In practical terms, this means that recharging can be faster and safer at the same time, something that seemed incompatible just a few years ago. The combination of these two factors, high transfer speed and low heat generation, breaks down one of the biggest obstacles to current electric mobility. And as if all this weren't enough, it's worth remembering that these batteries don't suffer from the same problems that plague current ones. Risk of explosion, accelerated loss of capacity, limited performance in extreme temperatures, none of this applies here. Aluminum's thermal stability guarantees performance from 40 Dreidrustes to 85 Iverdrutes without any problems. This is especially important in markets with highly variable climates, like Canada, Russia, Scandinavia, or even the interior of Brazil. Anyone who's driven an electric car on cold days knows the pain of dramatically reduced range. With aluminum, this problem simply disappears. So far, you've probably already seen that aluminum delivers outstanding performance. But there's one part of this story that sounds like something out of a futuristic movie. The unique features this battery unlocks. Starting with self-healing electrodes, a technology that sounds absurd because it's so advanced, it works like this. During use, microcracks inevitably appear in the electrodes, a natural occurrence in any battery. The difference is that, in aluminum cells, these cracks are automatically repaired in just a few seconds, thanks to a special polymer matrix that rebuilds the damaged structure. This not only prevents failures, but also improves battery performance over time. It sounds like magic, but it's pure science. This self-healing effect has been documented by Stanford researchers, and Tesla has already incorporated the technique into production batteries. Interestingly, after several regeneration cycles, the battery's capacity doesn't just stay the same, it increases by up to 5%, thanks to the natural optimization of ion pathways within the electrode. It's as if the car learns over time to better utilize its own energy. In comparison, lithium batteries only degrade, losing range and power with each charge. With aluminum, the effect is the opposite. The system strengthens with use. Another impressive feature is the so-called deep sleep mode, a function that literally puts the battery into molecular sleep. When the car is not in use for long periods, such as in a vacation garage or fleet storage, the aluminum ions enter a stable, virtually crystalline state, eliminating pressure loss over time. During testing, a drainage of just 0.001% per day was recorded, which means that after 10 years of standing still, the car still starts with 100% of the energy. More than that, the cell structure itself is preserved without degradation. This hibernation mode also impresses with its speed of reactivation. In less than 30 seconds, the battery wakes up completely, ready for intense use, without requiring warm-up time or recalibration. This opens a huge door to applications in emergency vehicles, remote missions, energy storage in isolated locations, and even space exploration. What was previously unthinkable with lithium, due to the gradual loss of capacity even when stationary, is now feasible with a system that sleeps for years and wakes up better than before. Now imagine all this combined with the energy capacity of these new cells. A single aluminum battery can store up to 2,000 kilodurit kralsurt, compared to the modest 100 kilowatts of the most modern lithium versions. This means that a Tesla car equipped with this technology could function as a power plant on wheels. It can power five to eight homes simultaneously, 
keep entire construction sites running, or provide emergency power in disaster zones. The battery transforms into a mobile survival station with artificial intelligence management, automatic prioritization of essential systems, and 200 kilowatt peaks. After understanding everything this battery is capable of, it's impossible not to wonder, when will this hit the streets? The answer is already taking shape with Tesla's most anticipated announcement in years. The Model 2, and what's making everyone's hair stand on end, is the price. Less than $16,000. That's right, an electric car with a state-of-the-art battery, incredible range, rechargeability in minutes, self-healing technology, and zero risk of explosion for less than many combustion engine models. It seems unreal, but leaked documents and the Gigafactory's timeline indicate that this shift is closer than ever. This price isn't just a commercial draw, it represents an economic breakthrough in the electric vehicle market. For comparison, Chevy Bolt EUV costs around $26,000 and the Nissan LEAF said for 28 million euros. With inferior technologies, less range, and batteries that will need replacing in less than a decade. The Model 2 arrives to break that mold. It offers not only better performance and safety, but also awful life that can exceed 70 years without the need to replace the battery. This turns the vehicle into a long-term investment and not on an asset that will depreciate quickly. Furthermore, maintenance costs virtually disappear. No overheating, no accelerated degradation, no risk of dendrite failure or internal short circuits. The savings come not only at the time of purchase, but throughout the life cycle. The entire useful life of the car, it's no exaggeration to say that this technology could put an end to the change your car every five or six years logic. And the cherry on top is recharge speed. In 10 minutes, the Model 2 will have a full battery something no competitor in its price range even dreams of offering. The impact of all this goes far beyond consumers. The global automotive market is already feeling the blow. Automakers like BYD and Volkswagen, which had been gaining ground with entry-level electric cars, now have to contend with a competitor that delivers much more for much less. It's the kind of scenario that forces the entire industry to chase new solutions or rapidly lose market share. Tesla isn't just launching a new model. It's redefining what it means to be affordable, safe, and durable in an electric car. The most interesting thing is that, contrary to what many people think, this strategy isn't aimed at immediate profit per unit. Tesla's game is different. With the Model 2, the company wants to global scale, massive street presence, market dominance. And with the new aluminum battery, this becomes possible. Production is cheaper, supply is more stable, and assembly requires fewer steps than traditional batteries. This allows us to sell more cars in less time, with less risk, and still deliver a product that feels like it came from the future. And if this prediction comes true, the Model 2 could be directly responsible for increasing the share of electric vehicles percent to 50% of global sales by 2030. An impressive leap that would put Tesla with at least 20% market share, something unthinkable just a few years ago. With the end of lithium dependence, cost cuts, and a virtually indestructible battery, the Model 2 isn't just a new car. It's living proof that the electric revolution isn't just around the corner. It has already started.